the life of a mega nerd, baby. We doing things and we making it happen, right? From the trash 80 to a black Mercedes, no one can stop us now, cause we're keeping it nerdy, night. Nice. What's up, YouTube? This is Chris with Sage Films, and, uh, Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve the self-filling cup effect in Sony Vegas Pro 8. So let's go ahead and get started. Now something in mind before you start recording your footage is make sure you're not using an overhead light source because it will project a shadow off of your arm or what you're pouring out of onto the table or the surface that you're recording on. And it doesn't make for a good shoot. So basically the reason I'm telling you this is because i done this and I didn't realize it until after I uploaded it to my computer. So it really doesn't matter. I'm just doing this for the tutorial. But if I was making this an actual effect, then I probably would uh, change it. But anyway, you're going to drag your footage down to the track here. And you're going to go up here above the preview section and click this little save snapshot file button. And just save that as any image as you want. I'm just going to save it over an image. And it should appear in your media bin. So just drag this underneath your video. And you're going to drag make it the exact length of this. And you're going to click the pan tool here and click the mask checkbox. Click D to select the anchor crash tool or the second tool down. And you're just going to create a mask around your cup. And when you get up here to the rim, you're going to create as many uh, little uh, mask buttons as you can because you're going to have to edit with that a lot here in a minute. So go ahead and above that tool, select the normal edit tool, click anywhere on the cup, and click up here and select this point drag them, drag all these points that you had on the rim of the cup to the very bottom. There we go. Alright, now you're going to drag your little, uh, little, uh, cursor here. Drag it to the very end where you want the footage to end, which would be about right here for me. And you're going to just go back down here and grab these points and drag them to the very top of the where that drink stops. Okay, now basically, as soon as you're done with this, this is what you should have. And I'm gonna go slow because as soon as I pour into the cup. And have to move your mask down. As you can see right there, it goes into the cup. So, and if I don't get this right on the soda as it's being poured in, it's going to show the stream of the uh, Coke coming into the cup. It's not going to make for a good uh, project. So you just keep going with this, and just there we go. Just make sure you keep it on it as much as you can. And I'm going pretty slow to make sure I get this right. And now you can see it's starting to get steady. So make sure you got, oops, make sure you have this right on the edge of the soda to make for the best project. And you just keep going forward here. As you see, it's getting above the mask buttons. So just bring those points up. And there we go, we're starting to get this, there we go. And it's getting above it again. So basically you just repeat this process. It's basically like the rotoscoping in After Effects, if you've seen some of my tutorials about it. But this is just for Vegas. I mean, Vegas is probably the easiest out of the two. But After Effects has more effects that you can do. And just keep doing this all the way through. I'm definitely probably going to use Vegas 8 for montage editing because it has good like pre-made transitions with an After Effects. You start with the raw footage and you have to create the own transitions yourself unless you install third third party plugins. And basically as everybody should know rotoscoping takes time. That's why this is taking so long. I want to get it as good as I can. And here we go, keep going forward, pull these up just a little bit more, 
and keep pulling these up. I'm sorry it's taking so long, so I'm trying to talk about random stuff while I do this. Oh yeah, make sure you guys check out my video, uh, wanna be, uh, part of CH Films because I'm looking for partners to help me with tutorials and just editing and stuff like that, kind of a production group that I'm creating. Hope you guys want to join that. And this should finish out the masking. Yep, it does. So just go ahead and close this out. Now let's view our let's view our footage. I'll just go ahead and drag this to the very beginning. And click enter and let's look at it. And there it is. See as the closer I got it, the better it looks. So there you go, that's the self-filling cup effect in uh, Sony Vegas 8. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.